Hi, my name is Dwayne Carrington. I'll be playing the role of Ralph in the musical Slow Dance on a Hot Pickup. It'll be at the Boulder Standard Theater. Hi, Dwayne. Hi. Hey, how are hey, you? I'm, I'm good. Um, um, we don't recognize that title. It's, well, it's by John uh, Pilmer, Yeah. And he wrote In Agnes of God. Yeah. And I, I don't know if this, is, if this is his first musical or not, but yeah. it is a world premiere. And I'm pretty excited to be a part of it. It's a very Midwestern feel to it. Yeah. Um, the characters are very, very organic. Uh, uh, they all have their specific quest in this particular contest, which is to keep their hands on this pickup truck to see who's the last person standing to win the pickup truck. Okay, so our basic premise, contest where you have to keep your hands on a truck. Yeah. But we think of musicals with a lot of singing and dancing. There is a lot of singing and dancing. Uh, well, I don't know about the dancing part, but there is a lot of singing. Oh, we've seen you dance at the uh, Town Hall Arts Center in the in the Full Monty. Yeah, well, we we know what you can three do. Three seconds of greatness. But hey, how do you how do you how do you sing and dance with your hands glued to a, a pickup truck? I don't know. I don't know how the concept is going to be, but uh, from what I've read in the script, it 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 basically gives the uh, performers an opportunity to tear away from. The, the truck and kind of isolate themselves so that the audience learns about the character itself. Yeah. So, uh, and the songs are pretty fun. So yeah. I would imagine at some point in time, they're gonna kind of break from that into some illusionary thing to where we dance and sing and talk and yeah. play because there's a lot of allegory going on in like some of the songs. Allegory? In, yeah. di in dinner theater? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that actually speaks highly of Boulder Dinner Theater that they're willing to take a risk on a new on a new work that audiences are going to go along with it when it's a title they haven't heard Absolutely. of. Absolutely. And I think it's it's fun that it was, it was uh, given a regional opportunity to work because I'm sure that they're their particular uh, anticipations are to go into Broadway and mm -hmm. uh, for us to be one of the test markets, you know, to see whether or not uh, it's something that will fly is pretty exciting. Yeah, that is fantastic. And you, you've been through the wars on the Colorado theater scene here for, for how long now? Geez, too long to want to mention. <laughs> uh, I came here in 1980, figure it out. Wow. Um, and, it, um, and it's 1986 now. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, when I was 12 <laughs> years old, I came. So. Exactly. <laughs> this is not your first time at Boulder Dinner Theater either, is it? It isn't. Um, matter of fact, uh, when we uh, worked with uh, Shadow Theater, whom I've been working with for a long, long time and had a good uh, experience there, uh, we collaborated with the Boulder's Dinner Theater to do rag time over there. Nice. A very seminal production in both theater companies' histories. Yeah, it was. It was, it was fun to do, and uh, I thought it was a very uh, good step to show how two theaters can collaborate and bring, bring a good product right. forward. This seems a little sillier. It, it's, a, <laughs> it's a lot sillier. Yeah. <laughs> um, my character is this guy that he follows the circuit He's been in like 16 perform, uh, 16 uh, contests. Yeah. He's only come in second in a couple of times, and so he's kind of determined. And he has this strong military background. He used to be yeah. an old drill sergeant. So yeah. that, that combination with this particular format is pretty fun. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see the choreography with your hand stuck to the truck. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for dropping by. Thanks a lot.